Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now this video today we're going to be showing you guys the top solo spots for getting pile-up kills in Call of Duty Fireplace Z after the latest patch. Now this has been in for quite a while now guys, it was working in the last patch and it's also working in this patch. Now it is quite hard to do but when you get the gist of it you can start doing it more easily and more frequently and it does get easier the more you do it. Now I would recommend starting in the earlier rounds and as you can see here I'm only round 4 but I would also recommend if you can to activate pack a punch before going here because you will encounter manglers and they will still shoot at you so activate pack a punch, pack a punch your weapons level them off as much as possible, get tombstone, get headshot because that's going to be the best way to get your pilot kills, critical kills all them up right away and this also works with melee attacks in that spot too so right before we do let's get straight into how to do it all right so guys the first thing i recommend you guys do is get as many points as possible with melee attacks now what you're going to want to do is since you can't get to the teleporter using the glitch anymore you must unlock that door so get as many melee kills as possible so you can unlock a door and get ammo because that's the most important thing is getting ammo and possibly even buy a wall weapon now if you can do that do that as quick as possible as you see i'm doing it here very fast and i will in a minute go to that door open it then go straight to the teleporter so let's just give it kill these last two zombies there we go final one in fact, I'm going to give this zombie a run around. So what you want to do is run up these stairs, go around this corner, and go to the teleporter, and go through the teleporter. Now, once you're at the teleporter, it's literally simple as running straight to the box, which is just outside of it. Now, when you get to this box, it's simple. you just got to walk up to it, jump, then streaf jump on top of it. But whilst you're streaf jumping, you want to pull back as you're entering the streaf jump. Now, don't pull right back on it so you fall off. Just do it gently, and you should start floating. Now... Don't worry about if, if the zombies do climb up, don't worry about that, because they shouldn't attack you, they should climb up, then they'll realise that because you're glitched, it, they'll just jump straight up down and go to the bottom and camp there. So as you can see, I'm trying as much as possible, it is quite a hard one, but eventually you guys will get used to it and you'll figure out how to do it properly. So this is one of the most detailed videos out there on how to do this glitch, because I don't believe many people are able to do it properly because it's that hard to do, but when you get used to it, it is a lot easier now i'm able to do this quite frequently now because i've been pressing quite a bit but it's simple get as close as you can to where that light is jump up streaf jump and pull back as you do it now I, I can't stress how much you have to pull back as soon as you start streaf jumping on top of the box that's the most important thing once, you, once you're mounting in fact the box you want to make sure you pull back as you would start in the mount and once you've done that, you should be glitched into it. Now, in a second, I'm going to show a video on how, what it looks like when you do manage to get it right. All right, guys, I'm just going to kill all these zombies, and then I'm going to run back around and go back to the box. Now, it's very easy to do. It's simple. When you get used to it, it is very easy, but to start off with it can be quite hard. So I would recommend practicing in the lower rounds, maybe restarting your game if you feel you can't continue on without doing this for the camera grinding. But... It's quite easy to simply jump up and as you mount you pull back and as you've done for i've done that first try but a minute ago i did have it but i fell off and i died now as you see now you can shoot them and get headshots loads of loads of kills with them and it's actually really easy to unlock your cameras like i've already got gold on my shotgun because of this glitch and there's many other glitches like this around the map, but this is one of the main ones I like to do because I do believe, I'm not sure if they've patched it, but Mimics don't attack you, however Manglers are able to attack you. So, and as you can see, you can get melee kills, which should be good for leveling up your knives and getting all the cams unlocked for them, and eventually leading up to Dark Ether being unlocked for all your weapons. Really easy. So, thank you very you guys. I'm going to end the video there. If you haven't liked to subscribe yet, please don't to do so today. Join the club and get to one point. 5k before the end of the week we've got three days left so i'm sure we can hit that but let's subscribe for more videos like this in the future i know i'm not the first one to do this but i went through in depth this video how to do it so let's subscribe for the effort no question about on for the next tutorials we're doing we try not to load every day with a tutorial new one coming out but we're trying hardest let's subscribe i'll see you guys next time goodbye